How's it going everybody? I'm Braddock with Kayak Adventures 210 and today it's all about my motor setup for the Hobie PA14. Check it out. Alright, alright, welcome back guys. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, so if you're familiar with my channel, this is one of the first year I have been running the Torquedo on the PA-14 and it's been phenomenal. So let's go ahead and stop wasting time, go ahead and jump into it. Alright, so this is the Torquedo on the PA-14. Now we do have this mountain on a Tim Piercy Fishing mount for the Pro Angler. And as you can see, moving over to the left, we got the power pole micro anchor. And there's another side over here to fit in an additional power pole. So with this setup right here, you can run your trolling motor, your power pole, micro anchor, and another micro anchor. So if you are a huge bass fisherman and you want to power pole down and face into the wind, this is the setup you want. Unfortunately, I only have one power pole. Uh, maybe in the future, we'll see. So this setup, you run on a main line and all you have to do is you pull this guy up and it locks over in the front let's go run over there so it's a little tough to see but i do have like a carabiner a locking carabiner mounted to the h rail and then i run some 550 through that to the actual trolling motor so when i pull this guy up it pulls up like so and then it just locks into place. And then the line for the reverse, same thing. I have an additional line here. I could pull this, uh, lock that pin, and go into reverse if need be. About the handle mount, not entirely sure who makes this. It might be RAM, but this is the adapter for the H rail, which you can then mount your Torquedo handle to that. So this is the Tim Piercy handle for the Hobie PA14. Now the only thing you'll have to do is get an additional bolt for the risen handle. Uh, it does not come with the bolt, so you have to buy that from the manufacturer. But you have your main wire here that attaches that. It comes with this mount. You run it through the harness system here and the wiring back to your motor. I'll make sure to leave his channel down below and the video he uploaded on how he installs it. We're not gonna go into that video, it's just a lot to handle. And he goes step by step of how he mounts his handle and his mount for the Hobie PA-14. Well guys, that wraps it up for the setup. Let's hit the water. All right, let's see how fast we can get her. Let's, let's do a few turns here. We are cranked up at full speed and we're at 5.5 miles per hour with the headwind. Straighten out here, very nice. Let's do a right turn. All right. And it dropped back down to about five miles per hour. Nice. Now I do have to say on the steering, it is a little stiff, but again, keep in mind, we're running this directly with our rudder. Now you can get mounts and mount this handle a little bit further up so you can keep the turning of the motor and the rudder independent. Um, so I think for me, at least right now, having that one handle directly tied into our rudder is fine. It shouldn't be an issue. 
Well guys, that about wraps it up for today's video on my trolling motor mount for the Hobie Pro Angler. We had an awesome time on the water. Calaveras, it is getting hot. The fishing comes summertime, water temp gets up about that 90 degree level and you see a lot of these redfish starting to school up and they're all over the place. So make sure, come down, check out Calaveras, like, subscribe. I'm Braddock, Kike Adventures 2.0. We'll see you on the water.